Hello, this is Aga. And Dom. And today we will take you to our second visit to Turkey. This time we will be traveling from Dubai all the way to Ankara. And within the next 10 days, we will discover multiple cities with the most beautiful spots, including Cappadocia, Adana, Mersin, and as the last stop, the capital of Turkey, Ankara. In this episode, we would like to share with you how did we plan our 10 days, which hotels we booked, and how many places we are able to visit within an entire trip, and how much we spend. After arriving in Ankara, we approached direct rental company, and based on our last good experience, we decided to rent our car again from the AVEC. To be honest, one of the best service we ever had. The car was ready, all administration points has been completed quite fast, and we got the same model as we booked. Driving from Ankara to Cappadocia and exactly to Gorema, where we overstayed the first three nights, it's quite easy, fast by highway, and took only three and a half hours. Coming to the hotel, we booked three nights with breakfast at the Dorm Cave Hotel and the big advantage that the hotel has own big parking plot, what made the life much much easier. As well has 24 by 7 reception, terrace, open patio, free Wi-Fi and the team is very friendly. The breakfast actually was quite simple but tasty, special with the fresh local red grapes. For three nights of triple room with breakfast, we paid around $165 and actually we got two separate rooms with big bathroom. Cappadocia is an ancient district in the east central Anatolia, famous for its unique rock formation, valleys, underground cities, cave hotels, balloon experience and much much more activities where everyone can find something based on their own preferences. For our stay in Cappadocia, we had three days. On day one, we visited Gorem Open Museum and Red Valley, including a short hike. On day two, we visited Kaimakli, underground city, and we drove to Ihlara Valley. Hopefully I'm saying this right. Apologies to the Turks if I'm not. And on day three, we explored the valley of Fairy Chimney. We took some amazing lunch at Le La Chateau restaurant, located in the museum hotel from the luxury collection. One of the best. Then we visited the Love Valley. I'll let you figure that one out. And finally, returned to the Red Valley for sunset. On the day 4, after breakfast, we started moving to Adana, however, before arriving the town, we planned to explore Kapikaya Canyon, which is located about 40 kilometers from the city. The entry to the canyon is free of charge, we didn't find any entry fees, and we recommend to take with you two pair of the shoes, one for the hiking and one if you would like to walk through the water. Pointing the location on the Google map, just add to the name of the canyon entry point. Otherwise, Google map will take you to the upper part nearby the bridge where there is no access to the canyon. Because of that mistake, we lost 45 minutes from our daily plan as we have to return and drive to the lower part. 
From Canyon we start to move direct to Adana and to be honest, it's not my favorite city. In spite of the fact that we were traveling in September, still the weather was very hot, the town was overcrowded, not that much tourist attraction, and we didn't choose the right hotel. Only the reason why we chose Adana for our overnight stay was the fact that we plan visit at Cube Waterfalls, which are located one and a half hour drive from the city. In order to reach the waterfalls, we had to suffer for the next 12 kilometers. We were obligated to drive through the narrow, close to the cliff, kind of off-road. On the next day, early morning, we start to move to the Mersin and the road is very enjoyable and easy. The hotel which we selected was really amazing. From our scene, we are keeping driving for the next two and a half hour with multiple stops at the heritage point of the Turkey with final destination Gelindire Cave. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful caves of the Turkey. Next day on the way to Ankara, which we had around 6 hours drive, still we were able to visit Salt Lake and Underground City. Right, so... We headed back to Ankara for the last three days where we got amazing taste in some of the most amazing restaurants in Ankara. Right after we went to have a visit all around the city that included Ankara Castle on top of the hill, the Hamamunu area which is a really nice ancient location where it's filled with a lot of vintage houses and local pubs and local restaurants. After we discovered around the Hamamuno area, we headed up to the Grand Mosque, a really amazing mosque with, on the outside, you will find a vast size of marble flooring, along with delicate artwork all around in the Islamic culture. And next to that, we went to Anit Kabir, which is the final resting place of the founding father of modern Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. On the final day, we decided to go on a long stroll in the park where we found some really nice shops with handcrafts and we moved along all around the city to the malls. Let's talk about numbers. All what we spent over 10 days, we got the airline tickets for $315, hotels for $545, Entry fees to the museums, $35. Car rental for 10 days, along with the petrol and tolls are $520.
And finally, food. We always eat outside, so it was $260. So the entire trip for 10 days came out to approximately $1,000 per person. And that's a wrap for this briefing. We will get into more details on the next episodes for every one and every place we have visited. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon.